Here we are on Friday night, praise and prayer. How's everyone Hallelujah. doing? We're so excited. Uh, wow. We are going to be uh, really <laughs> bringing it on tonight as we uh, pray mm, and mm, prayer mm, here. Mm. Uh, tell you what, we, we are so excited because the next 90 minutes, we are going to just have the presence of the Lord uh, with us as we praise you, Him Lord. and worship Him, have the music going. That gets a Holy Spirit river, and then we do intercessory prayer. So if you have praise reports or prayer requests, please put them in the chat. We'll try to get to them all. If not, we'll be praying on in the background for you, but we'll try to get to every one of them right now. I tell you, miracles will happen, guys. Seriously, we prayed for the gift of miracles and the gift of healing, and it's happening here. So don't underestimate the power of the, and the authority of the Lord God Almighty, the name above all names. And so I, I'd ask you one thing. The next 90 minutes, put everything away and just spend time with the Lord. You'll enjoy it so much, I, I promise you. This is a beautiful time to do that right now. Remember, you can join us backstage here and for free for the 30 days in the backstage ministry many of you are being called to that this is where you can be at home with other christian patriots so just go to blessedteach.com go to the backstage tab and do the monthly or yearly option and those of you who are fixed income low income make sure you just apply for a scholarship at info at blessedteach.com and also there's a free app where we're all getting together it's just a facebook replacement so make sure you download that B2T Neighborhood on your app or go to B2TNeighborhood.com. Tell you what, we're so thrilled to have Kent Henry from Carriage House Ministries. Please, you can donate there as well. Matt will put that in the in the uh, actual um, um, uh, um, chat as well. Tell you what, we're so excited to just worship. We're going to be talking about our birthright in Christ and compare that to wow. what Esau did. What did Esau do with his birthright? Don't do that to your birthright. We'll talk about that tonight. God bless Jesus. you, Kent. How are you? I'm doing really good, happy, and blessed Friday night in his presence, man. We are here for you, our first song. We welcome you with our praise. Yeah, that's what every church should be doing every Sunday, every Saturday night, whenever they meet. We welcome you with praise. Welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love. You're welcome in this place. Let every heart adore. Let every soul awake. Almighty God of love, you are welcomed in this place. We give you praise. Welcome you with praise. Let our praise and let our praise tonight Lord be your welcome let our songs this is a sign that we are here for you we are right here for you yeah. and let your breath come from heaven you fill our hearts with your life. We are here for you, Lord. Yeah, we are here for. Do that again. Let our praise. This is your welcome. Let our praise be your welcome, Lord. And let our songs be the sound. That we are here for you. We are here. We are here for you. And the pre chorus to you, our hearts are open, Lord. To you, our hearts are open. Nothing here is hidden. You are our one in that wonderful one desire. You alone are holy. Only you are worthy, Lord, and let your fire fall down to our hearts, Lord, to you our hearts are open, nothing here is hidden, you are our one desire, yeah, yeah, you alone are holy, only you are worthy, 
fire fall down. Stay on that for a minute. We say, Lord, let your fire fall down. Let your fire, let your fire fall down all over the nations, Lord. Let your holy fire come and touch every heart. Yeah. Glory to God in the highest. Let your fire, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. And let your fire fall down. Yeah. Glory to God in the highest. And let your fire fall down, Lord. Glory to God in the highest. Let your, come on one more time. Yeah. Well, glory to God in the highest. Let your fire fall down here. Yeah. We welcome you, yeah. And we welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, you're welcomed on this stream tonight. Let every heart adore. Let every soul awake. Almighty God of love, you're welcome. Welcome you with praise, Almighty God of love. You're welcomed in our hearts and in this place. Let every heart adore, let every soul awake. Almighty God of love, you're welcome in this place. You're welcomed in our hearts and in this place, oh Lord. So let our shout be your anthem, Lord. Let your renown fill the skies. We are here for you tonight. And let our shout be your anthem. Your, re your fame fill the skies. Fill the skies. Because we are here for you. Yes. We are in it awesome to tell the Lord that Friday night, Holy Spirit River, and let your word move in power. Check it. Let what's dead come to life, because we are here for you. Yes, we are here for you the back half of that let your word move in power let your word move in its power and let what's dead come to life because we are here for you lord yes we are here for you to you our hearts are wide open to you our hearts are open and nothing here is hidden you are our one you're my one desire Lord you alone are holy only man we get it Lord you're worthy God let your fire fall down to you our hearts, Lord. To you our hearts are open. Nothing here is hidden. Wow. You are our one desire. You alone are holy. Only you are worthy. Lord, let your fire fall down. Let your fire fall down. Let our lyric and our melody become a prayer. Let your fire fall. Fire from the altar of heaven. Falling down all over the earth. Fire from the altar. Holy fire.
welcome you with praise almighty god of love you're welcomed in this place let every heart adore let every soul awake almighty god of love you're welcomed in this place let's begin to worship the lord tonight Lifting up holy hands, grab a melody and sing your love heart to Jesus. Sing your heart to the Lord. said if you confess me before men I will confess you before the Father I didn't realize while I'm singing Gloria Heidi and Annette that I'm he's confessing there goes Ken he's singing again he's confessing me singing before men (laughs) and so I'm confessing Kent before the Father and Rick and all the fellow believers and I will exalt And I will 
I want you to pay attention. I want you to look at me. We're getting ready to paint Vicky's shoe full of the anointing and healing. I'm looking at your face, Vicky, and tonight we come. You said it, it was a journey. And so tonight, as soon as you came on, the Lord said, well, let me, let me be thorough here. What happened, Rick, in one of the battles, I can't call the reference, the priest came out and painted the shields of the Israeli uh, warriors with the anointing oil. We're about to do that for Vicky's shoot body. I don't care if you feel like you've gone backwards or whatever, because I can tell you're laboring, but it's okay because we're going to paint you, right, Gloria? Right, Heidi? We're going to paint you full of healing anointing of Jesus, healed in the name. So you, I got chills. Everybody get ready to pray. The tingling fingers, Rick. The tingling fingers. Here we go. In the name of Jesus, Vicki, I'm so glad. I don't know that you're feeling real good right now, but you're going to be feeling better again. And we're going to wear the devil out with the healing virtue of the Lord. So you guys, right now, hear what I'm praying. We paint Vicki's body, her whole system, every cell with the anointing. She's a warrior at Lord. She's a warrior, and, and so right now, healing reign, healing virtue in Jesus' name. We are covering Vicky from head to toe with the anointing oil, the anointing oil of heaven. Right now, the now we paint her full outside, inside, every cell, Lord. God, I thank you that she's healed 
by your stripes. We believe your word, Lord. We stand with Vicky tonight, healed in the name. Healed in the name. Healed in the name of Jesus. Our first prayer assignment, Lord, tonight you said was Miss Vicky. And now by the power of your glory and your presence, totally made well, totally made he made whole, made well, made whole. And everybody keep praying. Come on, bust out in the name, in the name. She's being painted in the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, full of anointing oil, healing anointing oil. He, I want Gloria to get ready to pray for Vicky Shoe. Wow, this is awesome. What a night. What a day. Because we're, we're in the journey with Vicky all the way to the end. Complete and utter healing in Jesus' name. Gloria. Well, Vicky, I just got a scripture just before uh, Kent got praying. And this is for you. And it's short. It's in Isaiah verses 18 and 19 and he is Woo. telling you vicky remember not the former things huh. nor consider the things of old behold the lord says vicky i am doing a new thing now it springs forth <laughs> do you not perceive it wow. so we just release it and receive it in the name of jesus amen Woo. Let's hold steady. I'm going to give it back to Rick in a second, but just let it run for a minute. I mean, there's one thing to hand off to people to pray for stuff, but this is like a, a supernatural unction of the Holy Spirit. I mean, Vicki could have stayed off tonight, but no, she came anyway. And this is how it works. And we're going to be in the journey. Some things are instantaneous and some things take a while. I don't know that. I don't know why I could care less. I just know Jesus is our healer. Rick, what do you got, buddy? Go ahead, Vicky. I want to hear from you. <laughs> I just want to say, can I just say that last time this happened, I just got started to giggle and to, and to laugh inside. <laughs> I wasn't laughing when I came on. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. I knew that. <laughs> the Holy Spirit has come on her. Ooh. Wow. I love now, it. Rick, Carla told me Charlotte has a word for Vicky. I, I didn't see it, but okay. Where's Charlotte at? Is she jumping on? Where? Where? I don't see Charlotte, but so, somehow Car Carla said that Charlotte had a word. Did Charlotte? Do oh, I, I gave I gave Vicky a word personally as I was praying for her, and the Lord, Whoa. the Lord actually gave her a vision of the word I gave her three months earlier. <laughs> so she's got the oil of gladness all over her. Hallelujah. He's the very breath of Yahweh, means breath in Hebrew, is what Charlotte said. She also said, so he is a child's first breath, and our very breath cries out to him. Marvelous master, redeemer, saver, friend that sticks closer than a brother. Anything else? Uh, you said the balm of Gilead is upon you, Vicky. He is your healing balm. And Rick, I'm going to sing it. There's a song by that name I wrote years ago. I have been saying it for years. The balm of Gilead. I'm going to explain what it means in a second. The balm of Gilead flows down from your throne to heal the brokenhearted. Carlos looking for words, but we'll learn it by heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead. Jesus. 
Jesus is the mama and you flow down from your throne you heal the broken hearted you heal the wounded soul the balm of Gilead. All right, now everybody listen up. The balm of Gilead in Jeremiah, Rick can probably find this. It might be Jeremiah 35. It says, is there no balm, B-A-L-M, in Gilead, G-I-L-E-A-D. Galid is how they say it in Hebrew. But so the balm is the ointment it was where in, in Gilead was the most fertile soil. That's where they grew the bushes and the shrubs for the healing ointments. So when Jeremiah said, is there no balm, no, no healing ointment left in Gilead? We're, we're way down the creek here now. We, we're, we're not going to return. <clears throat> and so the old timers called Jesus the balm of Gilead out of that prophecy. I don't know if you can find it, Rick, but this is worth noting tonight and remembering. Yeah, I'm showing and it on only, the screen. It's oh, a, you got, can Jeremiah you read it, Rick? 8, Is there no yeah, bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then not the spiritual health of the daughter of my people be restored? So think he does both. Is there no healing ointment? And what about the great physician? Isn't that awesome, Vicki? I mean, this is for everybody on the stream tonight. I love this. And my friend Debbie Amundsen, female worship leader years ago, we did this on an album, The Balm of Gilead. So, so think about it. So Jeremiah knew, it, he knew Israel inside and out, and he knew there was a fertile region where they, they, they uh, grew all the healing of uh, the the, uh, the leaves and all the ointments that came from the bushes and shrubs there. And he said, man, if that dries up in the natural now, it's like when you fell down and skinned you, <laughs> Vicki is laughing at me right now. <laughs> She's so full of joy. Thank God you came on here, Missy. Thank God you came tonight because you've been painted full of the anointing. That's why she's she's giggling. <laughs> and I love, I've been in a meeting where 10 or 12 people are doing this at one time, Rick. And some people think it's weird. I go, oh no, it's, when, when you, if you hook onto 220, you're going to know you got a lightning bolt right there. If you touch a light bulb socket 110, you're going to know you did something. <laughs> so let me say it one more time. I want to make sure we get this tonight. The balm of Gilead, Jesus is a prophetic name name of Jesus is the B-A-L-M or the anoint the ointments that came out because when you fell and skinned your knee uh, your mom put back teen or wait a minute I gotta ask her what was that old school stuff uh, started the, no not mercure comb but that was one of them but no it was the uh, it's a funny is it start with the E I, I can't remember it now, but, but in the same way, they had ointments, healing ointments that they would give to people for sores and stuff. So Jesus is called the Balm of Gilead, but he's also known as the Great Physician. I'm going to sing it again. Let's worship and let's laugh along with Vicki. Because <laughs> I love, laughter is full of joy. Here we go. He said, the Balm of Gilead, yeah. The balm of Gilead, the balm of Gilead flows. He's flowing all over Vicky tonight for sure. They they painted full of the healing anointing oil to heal the broken heart. I want to stop for a minute. Let's go ahead and if any other prayer requests. Not so much the praise report, Rick, but I saw Sylvia from our stream. Something I can't I can't see that right now. Oh oh the, she, oh it is a praise report from uh, Sylvia. S Sylvia, I know yeah, we had like on and on, when I was praying the with the the team earlier today, we had 
I had five or six prayer requests, and there was 14 praise reports that came out of that. It was just well, crazier. This is the moment. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was just crazy. Um, and, and it was uh, one of the biggest ones we've been praying for, Gus's Aunt Ollie, and, and, uh, and she is, uh, and she completely is cancer free. Uh, exactly what we're praying for after having a bunch of just battling with and she's cancer free which was just a huge prayer request i'm looking for sylvia's i can't find sylvia's here so let me know oh there it is i have a praise report again blood yeah. clot in rick's heart is gone thank you jesus yeah. for your blood so this is sylvia gonzalez on uh there facebook um wow <laughs> thank you sylvia for the great pra praise report and then we've been praying for all these things uh so awesome sylvia um, so people are saying, and so there's an active chat that we have. I know our chat brings in Facebook and YouTube and Twitch and uh, everything. And we also have Rumble Rants as a separate thing. I got a praise report. It says, uh, this is Linda Jackson. Report the court for went well for my husband on July 21st. He's showing a receipt as they just trashed the God took, God took care of it completely. We prayed about that, I think, last Friday. Thank you, Linda Jackson, for that prayer report, the praise report. It's like I can't even get to my 14 Woo! praise reports, and I can't. I can't tell you one praise report. We have a laughing um, it's somebody that was in pain and is laughing now with uh, Vicky Shoot. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, that is just awesome. And so, just so, you know, I'll just could review. I, I talked about Aunt Ollie. Wow. I'm just so many things going on right now. Let me know if anybody has anything they want to interrupt me, because uh, I, I know Charlotte, you may have had a something as well that was a praise report that I can't remember right now. That uh, last night there was a tons of them as well. This is such a joy. Um, here's a couple others that, that I'll just put. Uh, like for instance, I I applied to be media for in Dallas. Here there is CPAC, right? And uh, it was a Rhino site. I'll just tell you that. Asking for what was my Instagram, what's my Twitter. They didn't let me put anything in it. Just my website and Twitter and, and Instagram. Give me a break. They took Twitter away from me. They took Instagram away from me, right? And so I, I was just going, there's no way they're going to. But they, they accepted me. I am media now for CPAC coming up in August 4th through August 6th. Uh, we were on His oh, Glory. Yeah. Pastor Dave was, uh, w w my brother Rob and I were on his glory. Pastor Dave was, the, the patches for, for allergies and pain worked extremely well for him. He's so excited to be a partner. So his glory is a partner for us. There's so many things happening, but probably the most important thing is the, is the groups that when you go to b2tneighborhood.com on your phone, wow. and uh, the b2tneighborhood.com uh, that you can go into your, your, you just go to b2tneighborhood.com on your laptop or download it on the App Store or Google Store. And the groups there, the prayer and support groups, miracles are happening within them. And we're seeing answered prayers right and left, just like we are in praise and prayer. So uh, there, there's, the, there's the, the, the courts of heaven by Gloria, that, that. Um, the, the share, uh, I can't remember the share, sharing, um, which is a uh, truth connectors. Miracles happen there with Tammy, Tammy. We have, we have all kinds of, of, of uh, healings slash just miracles, signs and wonders happening on these groups. So you got to come and join us. This is a huge ministry where God is an listening and answering. He even said that in the word that he gave to the little one in Lois, that, 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 that uh, he is listening to us and answering. See, uh, see the working in this ministry. Uh, it's like it's absolutely amazing. And uh, somebody else has their hat on. It's Jennifer. Jennifer, go ahead. And, uh, what's up? Hi. I'm sorry I've been away the last couple of weeks, but I've, you've been, all been in my heart. Um, my sister, who is a nun, traveled from Australia back to the United States wow. for the first time in three years, and we were alone for an entire week in prayer. So I, I feel God. Yeah. But um, I just asked for prayers for, uh, I run a cancer support group, I'm a therapist, and I have a woman named Sammy who is really critically ill. And um, I, I'm just praying for her and I ask your prayers for Sammy. Her son, who was her caregiver, came down with cancer and died suddenly last year. Oh so she God. is alone, but not alone because we all love her. But please, Sammy is a very courageous and positive person. And uh, so wow. if you could include her, she deserves whatever Jesus can help, but God, all of you, um, and then, unfortunately, my son-in-law and now my grandson, COVID has hit that family. And so if you can pray wow. for Corey and Cohen, but that's secondary to Sammy, who really needs our prayers today. 
Wow. And thank you, Rick, for calling us. Yes, yes. No, no. So, you know, I see Vicky, Vicky Soup just being moved right now. Uh, I don't know if she mind praying for, for Sammy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She's a beautiful soul. Wow. You know. Well, go ahead. It's Vicky. Okay. You want Vicky to pray? Father, Vicky can yeah. pray. Father God, we just thank you. Wow. Thank you so much for this opportunity to pray for each other. And we just thank you for your healing and your obvious healing that's just just raining down upon us and I lift up Sammy and, and all the other people that were in our hearts but especially Sammy right now who's suffering from cancer and Lord we Jesus. just ask you to give him, him, him her the bomb of Gilead that it fills every nook and cranny that every area of that needs healing will be covered by that bomb and that she'll be soothed, soothed soothing healing right away she'll feel and that she'll feel your peace that surpasses understanding and i also pray that she is anointed and feels this wonderful happy yes. laughter that is still in my inside of me and um, it's just a wonderful feeling and so we're going to pray that sammy receives that as well and i just thank awesome. you lord thank you for this wonderful time together amen thank you amen Hey, Jennifer, Amen. what was the name of the two people that had COVID right now? Okay, my son-in-law, Corey, and his and he's been home alone with COVID because his wife, my daughter, was up in New York State with my grandson trying to help him with lacrosse competitions, and my grandson was off on the side of the field just coughing and coughing and coughing. Oh, so they, they, they're going to come home tomorrow and stay in a separate house, but it's just you know COVID. i mean whatever it is wow. uh so please pray for them but, the whole family it's the but, woodland family how's that woodland yeah no no woodland no family. wait wait a minute wait 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 because you said your grandson's name is cohen yes it is the the Correct. priest of the lord he gave yeah. them the name the priest of the lord what's cohen's yeah. middle name uh august <laughs> cohen oh my august. god so rick we're, we're praying for a, a young man how old is cohen 18 he turned 18 on july 7th 7 7 so i'm gonna hand back to rick but i wanted to point this out that he's been marked by the lord his parents gave him the name the priest yeah. of the lord so however you want to pray rick yeah i wanted to see if charlotte i know charlotte's a prayer warrior intercessor she went mine and, and i want to say he's praying to go get into a christian college he's Ooh. trying to get into notre dame so i i think he may be a priest someday I, wow. I, you know, wow. and I, I, so thank you for that, Kent. Yes. Oh yeah, I know, I know that name. The Cohen, the Cohen name oh. is the the priesthood in the uh, in Exodus. Aaron's wow. sons. Yes. Yeah. Cohen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ray. Go, ahead, Charlotte. Praise the Lord. I said, all right, if I pray in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Just to build it a little bit louder, Charlotte. Yes. Father God, we just lift up this young man to you. Lord, he's in your heart right now. You know the plans and the purposes that you have for him. Yes. Father, whatever hinders the commandment to go in the name of Jesus. Lose him now in Jesus' mighty wow. name. Shalababai. Pray for your divine protection, your divine health to be upon him and his family. Nothing by any means shall harm him. Father, you open up the door for school that you want him to go to. Yes. Because man makes his plans, but it's the plans of the Lord that will stand. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And we and declare that you've got his life in your hands. Your perfect will will be accomplished. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Amen. Well, wow, thank you so Amen. much. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm -hmm. awesome. Perfect people. And Charlotte had a praise, by the way, right when she before she prayed, she said, "My niece, who had been very depressed, was at the hospital to see her dad, Henry, my brother, and her nephew got to pray for her, which was it was a miracle in itself. She got filled with the Holy Spirit, right there in the hospital. 
but Lord, we have just got so much going on right now. It is crazy. Uh, Gus, can you just give a quick update on Aunt Ollie? I talked a little bit about it. I know you're on the car. I don't know if you can unmute or not. If you're driving, is it too dangerous? Yeah, I'm trying. There we got it. We got it. Can y'all hear me? Yep. Uh, y'all, yep. everyone here has been praying for my aunt Ollie, who had cancer. She went through chemotherapy and had her breast removed. And we were praying that once they checked the lymph nodes, that she would have no cancer. We decreed and declared that. And she is free of cancer, I learned Jesus. today. So praise God yeah, for that. Boy. Praise the Lord. Ooh, yeah, the we Lord. could go on for 20, 30 minutes here, guys. Praise There's all the kinds Lord. of miracles happening. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for Jesus. listening to us, giving the gift of healings, miracles, as well as uh, just all the gifts of the nine gifts that we asked for, as well as the nine fruits of the Spirit that are going to be mixed with love and joy and peace and patience, kindness, goodness, faithful, gentleness, and self-control, all with these gifts of faith and and, and wisdom and knowledge and prophecy uh, but especially we've asked for the gift of healing and the gift of miracles lord thank you for being that a, a marquee for this ministry and we submit this to you and we just cannot wait to keep the holy spirit river rolling right now with kent <laughs> rick, rick seriously i i am so blown away bro I, i've got tons of songs in front of me but i'm going whatever you want to do jesus <laughs> I, I, i'm serious man i'm going uh show us your glory i, I mean it, it, it's so powerful man. let me get down to d here and and i will build my life upon your love it is my firm foundation i will put my trust in it this is so right i put my trust in you alone and i will not be shaken and i will build my life upon your Let's do the verses, you guys. Face to face with our Jesus, worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could. Oh, we praise you tonight, Lord. Of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. Yeah. Jesus, the name, Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one we see you tonight, the only one who could save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. We live for you, we live for, we're living for your glory. We're living for your prayer, do it, sing it with me. We're living for your glory, living for, living for your presence. Come on, lift it up before the Lord and I am living for your glory, living for your presence. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. You open up my eyes in wonder. Show Oh 
we will not be shaken because of you yeah we will not be shaken because of you again we will not be shaken because of you lord yeah. we will not be shaken because of you lord yeah yeah we will not be shaken because of you lord yeah, yeah. we will not be shaken because of you here we are here we are again, Jesus. I'm going to hand back to you, Rick. Uh, I saw a prayer request if Matt and Carla could go back to it. Uh, I think it's on Facebook over here. But go ahead, Rick, whatever you got in the spirit, man. And we have Melissa White with a couple prayer requests. And we have uh, Maria Padilla with a couple prayer requests. So if those of you can look at the uh, um, the... I would love to pray. And I'll, Heidi, you had your hand up too, so if you want to share anything on your heart, maybe pray for one of these as well. Yes. Thank you, an example of what we need to do. A little not louder. Always, um, we're not always going to feel like we're up on the mountaintop. I, sometimes we do not feel it. But we got to press in, not because of our emotions or how we feel at the moment. We just got to do a lot of times I'm down in the dump and I fight oh, one yeah. battle one after the other. Mm -hmm. But why I've survived the many, many massive emotional abusive storms that I have faced throughout my life is I never quit. Mm -hmm. I always press in through the storm. And sometimes I can be so down in the dump and it's so depressed that it's not even funny. But I've learned the secret of Vicky is Lonnie. You never, ever, ever quit. You keep on going. You keep on pressing in. You ask, you seek, you knock. And it's never a burden. And it will bless you. It will get you through life. And life is tough. My testimony is powerful. To God be the glory for it. But it's because I've learned this secret. I hope that blesses you. And your love, your special just keep on going, my friend. Just keep on going. And we'll hey, Rick, that, that, be that's, our, that's our Friday night sermonette. <laughs> we didn't call for any sermonettes, but it came in anyway. Hey, listen, if you look, Rick, it's Melissa White. I have a couple of friends that are going through breast cancer. Let's bust that. Uh, please remember Anita and... Uh, Tanessa. T Tanasa, when you pray. And then she said, hey, if you don't mind, one more prayer request. Pray, please remember my sweet mom. Her ankles have been hurting, and they are swollen. Thank you, Rick and Ken. So let's let's take care of that one, right? Yeah. So Lo Lois, would you mind praying for Melissa White? Just the ones that Kent just read. It basically is Anita and Tanessa who, um, who have yeah. uh, breast cancer. Sweet, sweet mom. Let me just read this. I have one more request. Please remember my sweet mom. Her ankles have been hurting. They are swollen. Thank you. Okay. So, Father God, <clears throat> here we are together with so many people. We are asking, Father, that you will touch Melissa's mom. I don't know what her name is, but for us, it's mom. Mm -hmm. Help her, Father. I know what it feels like to have swollen feet, and it's not a good thing. It feels awful, especially when we're walking. And so, Father, we're asking that you would touch her right now. And what comes to mind for me is the scripture, not only the one that says that by thy stripes, by my stripes you are healed, but the other one that says you will do miracles and you will do even greater than me. And boy, if that isn't manifested here, when we see on Friday night the miracles that happen, we see it all the time. And so, Father, this is one more healing miracle. We pray that you'd send your angels, you touch her mom, and heal her right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. And, and Rick, I'm stepping in. 
breast cancer has to go. Breast cancer has to go. Come on, say it with me. Breast, breast cancer, cancer to friend. Cancer it's got to go. It's got to go in the name Ooh. of Je Jesus. His name yeah. is higher than breast cancer. Yes. So for her two friends right now, one friend would be more than, that's just wrong. But two friends, Lord, we step in right now with all this thing. Like we paint them now full of this anointing oil of healing that cancer is leaving their system in Jesus' name. Cancer is leaving every area of their body. There's not going to be one microbe, one cell, one whatever left got in there. In Jesus' name, we believe you tonight for the healing of breast cancer because you're God and we're not. In Jesus, this scripture that Lois was saying by your stripes we are healed we apply healing virtue and again as we started this in almost an hour ago we are painting them full of this anointing oil of healing virtue of the Son of God think about that tonight you guys we are painting them from head to toe full-blown healing Father God in Jesus name we paint them full of this anointing oil of the healing virtue of the Son of God God. Wow. Wow. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Rick. Hallelujah. I love it. We have uh, quite a few prayer requests. So I want to get through a few of them. I just want to lift up Heidi, who just uh, prayed a bit ago. Uh, Lord, just in battles everywhere with uh, miscommunication from apartment complex and uh, the, the power company and everything, trying to just make her life miserable. But Lord, we we proclaim what she just said there is that she 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 hopes in Jesus, and that uh, that is a name above all names, and that and and the blood that is shed for us and by that power and authority, we call for the, release those those uh, uh, everything that is ta taken. Uh, uh, causing these issues, Lord. We just remove any spirits that are not of the Holy Spirit right now, Lord. And we call for uh, ministering angels, a holy warring angels to come in, in that situation, allow her to break through that in her and Larry and his job and just be blessed in a provision uh, like, like she could never even imagine, Lord. Thank you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for Maria Padella. Uh, she's, uh, she just says she just says she feels weird looking down with weight. We, Lord, we just uh, remove any spirit of depression we bring in. The joy and peace that you give us that you talk about in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, where you give her a peace that transcends all understanding. And that peace that transcends understanding is uh, hitting her right now. And it's also that spirit of refreshing that we talk about in Acts 3, 19 that just comes across Maria right now. She also wants us to pray for her, her brother Anthony's dialysis and complete healing. Lord, we pray for healing there. And somebody else has asked for healing as well that we just that, that it would not hey, and that is a, hey rick yes. i want to let you know you're you're kind of cutting in and out okay. it's i know why it's right now all right but I'll, just so I'll, you I'll know change the, the micro, microphone in a second but heavenly father just thank you for all these healings we just love you so much and we just and i cannot wait to see the the power of your healings we also pray, <laughs> pray for healings and i'm going to move it over to gus to maybe pray for the last one that we have this is ajayma john elijah or anybody else that wants a to pray for her healing. Can Gus see that? Let's please kindly decree upon me instant complete healing, brand new organs, total restoration, and a mind blowing testimonies due to the account. To due to the accident. Due to the accident. Yes, Father. Hey. Father hey. God, organs are nothing to you. Bodies are nothing to you, Lord. You created us in our mother's womb and you can recreate us lord when the enemy attacks us and does things against us lord he's nothing against you so we pray full and complete restoration to the glory yes. of Woo. god the father Woo. through jesus christ the word right now in jesus name amen amen and the song rick as i stand in awe of you and i stand I stand in awe of you, and I stand, I stand in awe of you, yeah, I stand, I stand, we stand in awe of you, Lord Jesus, yeah, I stand.
come on, lift it up again. I stand. Then we'll do the verse. And I stand. I stand in awe. Hear us tonight, Lord Jesus. Yeah, I stand. I stand in awe. <laughs> and I stand. I stand. verse you are beautiful beyond description and you are beautiful beyond description to marvelous for to wonderful for comprehension Your infinite wisdom Who can fathom The depths of your love You are beautiful Beyond Annette Rick, Annette's going to pray for the prophets I know she should do that Majesty Enthroned above stand, I stand in all of you. Jesus, I stand, I stand in all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stand, I stand in all of you, my God. And I stand in the something holy God and holy God to whom all praise is due I stand in awe of you I stand of you, Jesus, yeah, yeah. standing in awe, standing in awe, standing in awe of you, yeah, yeah, yeah. standing in awe, standing in awe of you, Lord, yeah. we're standing in awe, standing in awe of you, come on, one more time, we're all standing in awe, standing in awe of you, Lord Jesus, Lamb of God, standing in awe, standing in awe of you, yeah. oh, standing in awe, we are standing in awe of your glory and your presence, standing I'd like to start with Kathy real quick if she wouldn't mind doing a prayer for the prophets. Something that the Lord's told Did us. Did you, you speak to me? Yeah, we'll come to you next and and that <laughs> Kathy. Yes. Was there anything specific you wanted me to pray for? I think it's mainly the protection. Protection? Of, of prophets? Yes. Okay. Well, Father, we just come to you tonight and we do praise you and we are in awe of you. You are an awesome father, a good, good father. 
you are the great I am. And so we just thank you, Father, that you have provided everything we need. But right now that we just ask special protection for the prophets. Thank you, Father, wow. that you give your angels charge over them to keep them in all their ways. Yes. That you have them hidden away in the secret place of the Most High, where no wow. evil will befall them and neither will any plague come near their dwelling. I thank you, Father, not only for the prophets and for President Trump and his family and for uh, Blessed to Teach family and all of those that are going to the rallies for the Reawaken American Tour. Father, we just thank you that you are working miracles, signs and wonders. And everywhere you go, people are saved, healed and delivered. So we give you glory and honor and praise, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Amen. Hey, Annette, would you mind praying as well? Relatively short, since we're running out of time, we want to make sure everybody participates. Go ahead. Annette? Yes? Will you do uh, yeah. a short oh. prayer for us, please? A short prayer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> dear, dear Heavenly Father, we are so blessed to be before you and to praise you and thank you for all that you are doing in this ministry. And we just thank you, oh, we just thank you, thank you, thank you for all that we can praise you for and to know that Jesus is our Savior. He is the only one who did this for us on the cross. Jesus is the Savior of the whole world. And that is why we are here. Just because of Jesus, what he did in our lives and what he has done right now with this praise report. This is so great because you are the great I am God over all. And we just thank you, praise you for all, all, all that you are doing. And thank you for praise, for all the, what you do in blessing this ministry and Rick and Kent Henry and Gus and everybody else. And thank you for all these praise reports for Gus Aunt Olive. This is so great because you are the great I am. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Hey, can't do we have time to do the sermon now? Uh, I, I think so. I just want to tell everybody Vicky's still smiling, so I'm in yeah. good shape. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Rick, on that sermon, bro. Yeah, that is awesome, because I just want a, a special message. I know yeah. we don't have a lot of time, so we'll make this short, yeah. but I tell you what, it's exciting when you look at Genesis 25. As we just go through the book of Genesis, uh, remember, book of Exodus is vital at this time as we're going to be going through the great Exodus to understand that the first Exodus was about, the ten plagues, I mean, it's so important. It's also important to understand the life of Abraham and how the how Israel came to be the twelve tribes. And this is what we're talking about right now. We are talking about Abraham's death and his descendants. Um, in the interest of time, it's going to go through the whole um, um, uh, kind of the kind of the genealogy here. I'm going to skip through a lot of this, but it's important to know that after Abraham's uh, wife died, Sarah, he did marry another uh, woman and had a lot of other kids, uh, six other kids actually, six other boys, and uh, it's interesting. And so he also goes over um, that he lived 175 years. So when we don't have uh, deep state uh, chemicals killing us. And we are living uh, ourselves, so who, we, we know our body is capable of doing a lot more than the, 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 the it does now. And uh, we see a, a, a lot of, of um, genealogy even in Ishmael, proving uh, that yes, he was blessed. Ishmael was blessed. Now the, 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 the actual promises to Abraham was gonna be fulfilled through Isaac. Uh, but 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 Ishmael had had 12 sons as well, which is interesting because we have the 12 tribes of Israel that was would be coming not from from uh, Isaac himself, but comes comes from Jacob, and so we're gonna we're gonna learn that remember Jacob's name gets changed to Israel later 
that we'll learn about. But right now, we're going to talk about the birth of Esau and Jacob, the twins. And uh, we know that Esau basically disrespected his birthright. And we just want to make sure we do not do that because we have a birthright as well we want to talk about. So let's, let's start in verse 19. It says, These are the generations of Isaac, Abraham. Son Abraham fathered Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel of Aramean of Potter Aram, the sister of Laban of Aramean, to be his wife. So we read about that last time that we taught. We teach uh, lessons on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays here if you want to follow along with us. And Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his prayer, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. The ch children struggled together with her, and she said, If it is thus, why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord. Now it's interesting that she was 30 years old. I mean, I mean that Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebecca, and it wasn't until 50 that we're going to see these twins were born. So she she was born she was barren for a good 10 plus years. I think that's what it was. Well, I'll, I'll, I think that comes a little bit later. But but and the Lord said to her when she asked to inquire of the Lord, if this is us, why is this happening to me? Two nations are in your womb, says the Lord, and two peoples from within you shall be divided. And one shall be stronger than the other. The older shall serve the younger. Wow, she's just blessed getting direct words from the Lord. And she was going to have two males. There were going to be two nations. And uh, who was going to be serving the other? When her days to give birth were completed, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red, all his body, his hairy cloak. So they called his name Esau, which means red, uh, and hairy. Uh, um, afterward, his brother came out with his hand holding Esau's heel. So his name was called Jacob. Interesting the names in the Bible because uh, Jacob is not a flattering name, right? That's one reason why God changed it because it means deceiver um, and a, a bunch of other words that you really don't want to be, right? Or he cheats, right? So Isaac was 60 years old when she bore them. 60, I'm sorry. So Isaac was 60 So from, from, and he was 40. So 20 years. She was barren for 20 years. And so God answered um, Isaac's prayer when he said, hey, please give us children. They had all these promises. Look how patient some of these patriarchs had to be. He had to wait 20 years for even give, getting any children. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter man of the field, while Jacob was a quiet man, dwelling in tents. Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. We talk about how you're not supposed to have favorites in children, though. But, you know, this is the Bible's really clear and makes it very clear that uh, we we don't always get the best characteristics. We get the truth about sinful men, right, that he used in a mighty way to create Israel, who he blesses all nations through, obviously a promise to Abraham. So this is the part I wanted to get. This is the last part of the paragraph, and it really gets to do Esau selling his birthright. So this is special. This is a Jewish custom. This is a uh, that, that the firstborn usually would get Not the true. birthright, right? And so since since Esau came out first, so once uh, he got, he had the natural birthright. Once, when Jacob was cooking stew, Esau came in from the field and he was exhausted. And Esau said to Jacob, let me eat some of that red stew for I'm exhausted. Therefore, his name was called Edom. Jacob said, sell me your birthright now. Esau said, I'm about to die. Of what use is the birthright to me? Which is kind of a shocking statement when you think about that. Jacob said, swear to me now. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went on his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Wow. So this is pretty amazing. And But God used this in a mighty way because he had already told uh, up above, as we saw, um, he had already told Rebecca that who was going to serve who, right? The older shall serve the younger. So, so the younger is is obviously Jacob here, the deceiver. He deceived his brother, but his brother despises his birthright. And I just wanted to kind of use that as a quick reminder to you that we have a birthright as well, right? That we have been blessed in a mighty way. Look at this. John one twelve says, "But to all who did receive him." who believed in his name, that's Jesus, he gave the right to become children of God. 
So we have this right, right? This birth right. If we are born again in Jesus, you have a birth right to become children of God, right? Wow. And then if you look at 1 Peter 2, 9, it tells us a little bit about what that is. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. He's calling us out as a remnant to his marvelous light. He wants us to proclaim the excellencies of him. We are a royal priesthood, a chosen race. How, well, what a huge privilege that we have. And you can see here in John 14, 12, Lois mentioned this verse in her prayer. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do and greater works. This is Jesus talking. This is a, a quote from Jesus. Again, whoever believes in me, Jesus, will also do the works that I do and greater works than these will he do because I'm going to the Father. He went to the Father. He sent his Holy Spirit here so that God lives within us. Jesus lives within us. The Holy Spirit lives within us. That is how we can do the works He can do. That's why we need to step up as a church and start taking authority and understanding the power of the name above all names. That is how we do this because we have the power, the blood that was shed for us. That is the power and authority in the name of Jesus to do wow. greater works than He will do. This is our birthright the power and authority of Jesus in our lives. We need to proclaim that. That's what we're doing here in this ministry of asking for the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, and we're seeing it happen mixed with the fruits of the Spirit. So we always have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control mixed into this. This is what I call the nine squared ministry. Fruits of the Spirit's nine, nine of those. Gifts of the Spirit's nine of those, including healing and miracle signs and wonders guys this is amazing what's going to happen but we got to make sure we do not do what esau did and and despise our birthright we have a birthright again the right to become children of god to this royal priesthood we have we have a right to become a powerful vessel for god by using the name above all names understanding the power of his shed blood and using that to take down this cabal, using that to bless people, using that to see miracle signs and wonders happen before us. Join this ministry and make that happen. Do not despise your birthright, but take hold of it now as we fight this battle. Can't. Well, mm. I brought a song called I'm Listening. We haven't done it for a while in the stream. But check out the lyrics. When you speak, Lord, confusion fades. That's the power of the word. And bro, I'm in total agreement. Do not give up your birthright because of hard seasons or hard times or hard things you go through. It's all gonna pay off in eternity for sure. I don't wanna, when he said, I don't wanna miss one word you speak, Lord. And I don't wanna miss one word you speak. Everything you say is life to me. Oh, and I don't want to miss one word you speak, Lord. I quiet my heart, I'm listening. Come on, do it again. Yeah, I don't want to miss one word you speak. Everything you say is life to me. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to miss one word you speak, Lord. I quiet my heart, I'm listening. What do you do? You quiet your heart. You quiet your heart because you're listening. Here's the verse. When you speak, confusion fades. And just one word. And suddenly I'm not afraid. Because when you speak, 
freedom reigns and there is hope in every single word you say I don't want to miss one word and I don't want to miss one word you speak Lord everything you say is life so we're listening for his voice hour by hour and I don't want to miss one word you speak Lord I quiet my heart I'm listening and when sorrows roar when sorrows roar and troubles rage you whisper peace When I don't have the words to say, I won't lose hope. When storms won't break, you keep your word. Oh, and your promises will keep me safe. Do it again when sorrows roar. You got power, you break it, Lord. When sorrows roar. Troubles rage, you whisper peace. Yeah. When I don't have the words to say, I won't lose hope. When storms won't break, Lord, you keep your word. Your promises will keep me safe. Life to me, life to me, life to me. And I don't want to miss one word you speak, Lord. Because quiet my heart, I'm listening. I quiet my heart, Lord. I quiet my heart, I'm listening. I quiet, Lord. Quiet my heart, I'm listening. And then the bridge, your ways are higher. Your ways are higher. You know just what I need. I trust you, Jesus. You see what I cannot see. Your ways are higher. I trust you, Jesus, that you see, do it again, yeah, your ways are higher, you know just what I need, I trust you, Jesus, you see what I cannot see, your ways are higher, you know just what I I trust you, Jesus. Just sing that line, I trust you. I trust you, Jesus. Come on, sing it out loud tonight, yeah. I trust you, Jesus. One more time. I trust you, Jesus tonight I want Rick to pull up Psalm 29 the voice of the Lord is on many waters this has been really strong the last week or two and we're gonna just keep going for a few minutes here we're getting toward the end but it's the psalm of the seven thunderings of the voice of the Lord Psalm 29 is the Hebrew people named it the psalm of the seven thunders of the voice of the Lord 
And this goes with this song, I'm listening, God. I don't want to miss one word you speak. He goes, well, I'm going to thunder it out. You're going to hear it. You're my sheep. And what does it say in the Gospels? You hear my voice. You're my sheep. And I'll make sure that you hear my voice. When I was a young believer, Rick, in my early 20s, I found that scripture. You're my sheep. You'll know my voice and you'll follow me. And I was very troubled because I said, Lord, uh, I know I'm your sheep. I found that in the Psalms. But I hear your voice is a question mark. I'm not sure I hear your voice. And I, I truly want to follow you. So I'm your sheep. I got that. Hearing your voice, I'm very unconfident in that. And then the third one, you, I'll follow you for sure anywhere you want me to go. And he says, no, Kent, stop. I made the promise to you. I'll, you're my sheep. I'll make sure you, I'm almighty God, and I'll make sure you hear my voice and you will follow me. Isn't that awesome? I'll say it again. It, it set me free because I go, God, I want to hear your voice, but I'm not sure. Da, 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 da. I was doing all this stuff, you know, go, I don't know. He said, you're my sheep, kid. I'm almighty God. I'll make sure you'll hear my voice and you will follow me. So the Psalm Amen. of Seven Thunders, uh, Rick, you have that up. Start at verse three and just we're, we're going to read like four or five verses up through nine. Just the Psalm, everybody hear it now. The Psalm of Seven Thunders, the Seven Thunders of the Voice of the Lord. Verse three, Rick. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The glory of God thunders. The Lord oh. is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice huh. of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord wow. breaks into pieces the cedars of Lebanon. <laughs> he makes Lebanon skip like a calf. And Saron, Mount Hermon, like a young wild ox. Right. The voice of the Lord rakes flames of fire, lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadash. The voice of the Lord makes the doe labor and give birth and strips the forest bare and his temple are all saying glory 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 to god and i and listen just one other point um when it says the the voice of the lord causes the deer to give birth and strips bare the forest as a young believer when i found it, i said lord now which one are you doing right now and he said yes I said, no, no, that you tricked me, Lord. That's not fair. I said, are you causing the deer to give birth right now? Or over here, are you stripping bare the forest? And he said, yes, Kent, you got to stop either or with me. I can do multiple things at one time. <laughs> so I learned my lesson on that right there. That's pretty good, isn't it, Rick? Yeah. And uh, we're at 727. Let's just check. I want to hand back to Rick for a second. Uh, any other uh, praise reports or prayer requests that I, I think we've, we've had a powerful night. By the way, if you got on late, you want to go back and watch the front end of this because Vicki Shoup, not feeling good again, but we painted her like the warrior's shields were painted by the royal priest of Aaron's sons. They painted their shields when they before they went out to war. Their shields were so glistening, by the way, by the anointing oil that was on the shields, it scared the other army away. The, the, the oil was causing the sun to glisten off their shields. And so the Lord said, stop Kent and pray for Vicki the whole stream about just paint her full of the healing anointing oil of Jesus it's still working right Vicki <laughs> all right yeah I just want to give every I, I just wanted to, 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 to quickly uh, we do have a prayer request from Linda Jackson pray that her ankles the swelling goes down away for good she also is asking us to pray for the military and our rightful president and so I know there's several people who hasn't participated yet and just wanted to offer that. Uh, I, thought, I think Terry's just worshiping right now. Um, I wanted to see if Lourdes or uh, Mary. Mary, would you mind just saying hi, praying for anything that you'd like to pray for? Uh, we, we just want to make sure you thank, we, we, you know we thank you for being backstage here. We love you. Is there anything that you'd like to share or pray for? Uh, yeah, actually, I took our dog to the vet today, and he's a little bit older. Um, he's about, I think, 12 or 13. He's been having a really weird cough, and uh, he may have um, a tumor on his heart, 
or something else. So we're going to figure out what's going on. He may just need some medicine. But we've given him a good life, and he's very spoiled. <laughs> he's the one I was holding earlier, but it's still, it's still hard. So just pray that uh, whatever happens, he's at peace. What's his name? Yes. His name is Dingus. Dingus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> who's a who's a pet lover that would like to uh, pet pray for uh, Dingus? Anybody? Thank you. I know there's a lot of prayer wars out here. I see somebody unmuting. Pray for Does anyone else want to pray? Or I pray. There wouldn't call an opportunity. Want to give everyone an opportunity to pray before me. Go ahead. Okay, I'll go ahead. Then. Lord Jesus, we thank you for our pets, our beloved babies. They are family to us. They are a gift from God. They give us so much love, unconditional love. We love them, and we thank you. I believe that there's a special place in heaven for our beloved pets when they're called home. Just let us know that these pets are special and that when we were asked to pray for pet, let's pray for them. I have prayed for pets and got testimonies where they come back and they said, thank you. Wow, you cared enough to pray for my pet. And then they received the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So every prayer request is important in the eyes of the Lord. We ask this in your precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. God can protect that little one. We love our pets, no question about it. I wanted to pray for Linda Jackson and her and her uh, in a second, but I, I first just wanted yes. to say thank you for everybody backstage, Vicky Shoup, and um, thank, thank you for your laughing and, and the joy. It's a, a, a Heidi and Terry, thank you for being back here with your camera on. Um, thank you for Matt and Carla in the background. Uh, Mary, uh, thank you for, 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 for sharing your prayer request. Lourdes, thank you for always being here from California. Lois. Uh, uh, thank you for your service here and, and the servant leadership. Uh, Kathy, thank you for being here. Gus, thank you for being here despite all the travel and helping Amanda Grace and Chris uh, and blessing them with their visit with his glory. Um, Annette, thank you for being here all the way from Sweden. Charlotte, thank you for being here. I just wanted to make sure everybody's recognized and we just love you and thank you for being here. And uh, and I don't know, if Gus, if you're, if you're still available, but would you mind taking one of these and I'll take the other one? Um, uh, maybe Linda's swelling that goes away for good. I think you had a, something similar to that for somebody else. <laughs> and I'll pray for the military and rightful president. Okay. Father God, we pray it's Linda. I think you said Linda with swollen ankles. Yes, Linda Jackson. Uh, Lord, we pray that whatever the cause is for these swollen ankles, Lord, you know what it is. And it's obviously something that the enemy has imposed on Linda mm -hmm. through some type of device or mechanism, whatever it may be. But Father God, you know exactly what it is and you can correct it because you engineered these bodies to be fearfully and wonderfully made. Lord, we pray that her body comes into alignment with yes. the creation that you intended it to be, Lord. And everything comes into alignment. Her swelling goes down. I mean quickly Lord so that she knows it's because of this prayer of faith right here in your name to bring glory to your name Lord we pray this we ask yeah. this in your name of Jesus Christ amen amen Lord as I see your camera on did you just want to say something at all what's on your heart at all as we wrap up here I just wanted to say that thank you for being here. I love it when your cam your cameras are on. It's so 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 awesome. Were you talking to me, Rick? I'm yeah. sorry. I'm yeah. babysitting my grandsons. Okay. And it's like every five seconds they need something. Right yeah. now they're saying, I will eat that, I will eat that. Yes, I love it. Just you. wanted to say thank you for being here. As a, <laughs> I really appreciate you. Yes, yes, sir. You I love it. Praising and praying with the grandsons. I love it. Thank you, Lourdes. All right, okay. so I'm gonna I'm gonna just wrap it up with uh, I, I was gonna see if any other prayer words that wanted to lift us up. Uh, um, I don't know, Lois. May, maybe maybe I'll take the the military and you take the rightful president if you don't mind, Lois. In a second, I'll just lift up uh, the our military right now. Well, Heavenly Father, just thank you so much. Uh, we've been you've been asking us to make sure we're lifting up the military, 
and uh, they're rescuing the children. We lift up the children as well, these trafficked children, Lord, and they're rescuing them um, as we speak with all these operations, Lord. And we know uh, that these militaries seen things, especially in the deep underground military bases, that, that no man should have to see, no man or woman should have to see. And Lord, we just pray that you'll, you'll, you'll bring ministering angels to them and obviously uh, warring holy angels as they go through their missions uh, uh, across this whole world as they're, they're exercising um, this mission, Lord. And uh, we just, just pray for the healing of all the military that has to see the horrible sights, healing of all these children that have been experimented on, uh, tortured and even trafficked. Uh, Lord, we just we just pray that you'll use many of them uh, to be huge evangelists worldwide for your kingdom. Um, and, and we thank you for, for to, to just giving a healing touch to everyone in the military that's doing these operations and every one of these children that have been hurt in any way by this evil cabal and this satanic religion uh, that they follow. Lord, we call it down in the name of Jesus. We call it down by the blood of Jesus and the power and authority of that. We call this cabal down in all areas of all seven mountains. And we call new believers a remnant to come and take that place. And you bring them into power to bring us back to uh, a country and to a world that we can love and, and, and without all this evil. Thank you, Lord. We're looking so forward to that. Lois, would you mind talking about uh, bringing back the rightful president? Are you talking to me, Rick? Yeah, if you don't mind. Oh, you, you're cutting. Oh, you're cutting out. Mm -hmm. I only get part of what you're saying. You want me to pray for the rightful president? Yeah. Oh, how exciting! You bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Father, here we are together, and we are in agreement that we want the rightful president to come back to our country. Father, we see that the eagle is flying. We see that the flag is flowing. We know that at the top of the flagpole sits our country and with you at the head do we need a president well yes i guess we do but we need you more as father and you will bring back our rightful president you will decertify states you will do, you will bring into the white house the rightfulness from the people of this country so that he can be the ruler, he can be the reigner, he can be the one who pulls us all together. We need, we need leadership, Father. We need so badly for your Holy Spirit to dwell in the, in the White House and in the heart of the rightful president. And Father, we ask for a special blessing on this country. We ask for a special blessing on everyone that's here tonight listening to our voices as we go our way and we all and whether we're here or we're international or whether we're in the United States, we all want the same. We want what's right to hit and to come back to our country and to the whole world. And so Father, we pray, we pray and ask, humbly we ask, we ask for forgiveness for our country and we ask for a special blessing on our country and that you would give us this rightful president back. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. We're going to wrap it up there. I know Amen. Maria had Amen. a last minute request as well that I just wanted to say, uh, lift her up in the mighty name of Jesus that she won't be losing weight and she'll be massively healthy. Um, we pray that uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, Ken, I know we went late there. Uh, thank you so much for your awesome service <laughs> to this body um, and this ministry. We really appreciate you. It's a great great night full of the anointing of the lord jesus christ i'm all about it bro five or ten minutes they make it no difference to me <laughs> i love it and i want i also want to personally say thanks everybody that's helping grow this stream that has a heart for his presence mm -hmm. but also a heart for intercession i really do appreciate it thanks for doing that for for the lord awesome i think we got through all the prayer requests if we missed one let us know you can uh, connect with us on the neighborhood remember that's where you can chat with me and uh, put there's a, there's a prayer request, written request wall there. Just go to b2tneighborhood.com or download it, the app. Uh, we love you guys so much. If everybody wouldn't mind unmuting and saying goodbye. See ya. Not Bye, everybody. <laughs> goodbye, Bye, all. Everybody. Love you. Bye, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Great shalom. night. Thanks. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Oh, keep it up, Vicky. You're looking great. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, everybody. God bless you, everybody. All right. Everyone. Bye-bye. Put this on your calendar, 6 p.m. CST. 6 p.m. CST each Friday night. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time.